Hey guys, uh, BX here again. A uh, quick simple video. Um, this video is simply how to um, install custom themes to your Windows 7 or Windows Vista OS. Um, basically, what you're gonna need is your go to the link in the description and you're gonna go to the Universal Theme Patcher. Uh, you can click download link one, two, or three. Um, let's see which one is this. This is download link two. I'm just seeing that to your PC. It's gonna take like let's say three minutes to download. Um, so once it's finished downloading, let me let's just wait here. Twenty seconds remaining. Let me just show you this. Uh, this right here. All of this stuff is something that I've just discovered last night. I'm kind of experimenting with it, you know, playing around with it a little bit, uh, you know, learning new things about it. This is called Rain Meter. Um, I'll make some tutorials on, on this uh, soon. Uh, you know, I just need to get back up with the other tutorials. I have some uh, how to download and install games uh, tutorials coming up very soon, so keep subscribed, look out for that. Uh, and yeah, so let's go back to a download here. On 68 percent, big percentage. I have this downloaded already. Okay, so once it's finished downloading, you're gonna have a folder like this, so you can close that off. Uh, close that off also. So once you open up this folder, you're gonna see Universal Theme Patcher. Um, the Theme Patcher is for by 64 or by 86. Find out which one you have. Go into Control Panel, System and Security. Um, I think it is System and Security. Hmm. Let's see, System. Hit system and you'll see system type. Excuse me, there. You'll see system type 64 bit OS. Um, so we're gonna run 64 bit. Double click that. Uh, if it actually administrator privileges or rights, just hit accept or yes. Um, so this OS needs to patch three files. Three files have been patched. Zero patch. Zero files needs to be patched. In your case, you're gonna see zero files has been patched. Three files need to be patched, and you're gonna click yes, and you're gonna see patch for all of these, and you're gonna patch it, and then restart your computer. After that, you can go to any website of your choice and download a custom theme. And uh, let's go to just going over to DeviantArt real quickly. My internet. Moving kind of slow. I don't know why. So I'm gonna type in Windows 7 themes. Uh, we're gonna look look out for some for a cool theme. Uh, so here we have uh, Windows 8. This theme right here. Let me. Ooh, what is this? Okay, it's loading. Uh, let's just download it real quickly. 22.6 megabytes so we're gonna save that all right so once you're downloading a theme what all, all you want to do is now go into go into computer go into your C disk go down to Windows scroll down to resources and go into themes and you add the theme inside of here I'm currently using this neon theme um, if I if I click it, nothing's gonna happen, but um, that's because I already have it on. Uh, so just put the theme in this folder, make sure you put it in this folder. And then all you need to do now is just double click it. Let me uh, go into my personalization screen. Uh, personalize. Uh, you see, I have some different themes there. Install themes. I have these three, and I'm using, I'm currently using this neon theme, I think. So. Yeah, and that's basically how to um, how to install custom themes on your computer. Uh, thank you guys.
for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you have any problems anything just uh, leave me a comment or send me a private message and peace out